Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I'm going to be showing you the Pack-A-Punch and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC 3 Garage Crovey. Super, super excited about this map to come out tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Pack-A-Punch, how to get there, and everything that goes in between. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and get into the first step. So the first step is to make your way into the Dragon Command Center and turn on the power. Super, super easy to do. All you need to do is just make your way to this building. Go ahead, flip on the power, and the zombies will start dropping these things called code cylinders. Now, there are three different code cylinders and three different locations to put them into. As you can see, the one that I picked up there is the Dragon Command Code Cylinder. So what you need to do with the Dragon Command Code Cylinder is obviously take it up to the Dragon Command Room, find the place where you can actually uh, de just deploy the Groff module, and you will run outside and take a look up in the air and find this green beam of light that will come down after this pod has been dropped. What you need to do is just make your way over to the pods and defend the pods, killing zombies to actually charge up these pods and get these things open. Now, these things can be destroyed, as you see here. If they take enough damage, if you run around the corner, get there too late, anything like that, they will be destroyed. You'll just have to wait for another zombie to drop one. But basically, after you kill enough zombies all around it, it will actually open up and give you a piece to the Dragon Command Network that you're going to use to fly the dragons and actually get to pack a bunch. And it basically, if you've learned this process, all you need to do is repeat this two more times. It's actually much, much easier than it seems. I promise it seems a little daunting right here when you're looking at it, but trust me, it is very, very easy. Let's go ahead and go through the other two locations and the other two cylinders very, very quickly. So after you use up your cylinder that you have in your inventory, the zombies will start dropping them again very, very soon, and you'll get one called the Supply Depot Code Cylinder. Take this over to this building right here that's kind of like the torn down mansion type looking area. Go ahead, put that into it, and deploy the Groff module, and you're going to make your way all the way wherever it drops and defend defend that one as well. Again, it's the exact same process. You don't have to worry about it. It will deploy that green light into the sky, and you'll just make your way over there and defend the exact same way you did the first time. So again, once you kill enough zombies around it before they destroy it, it will open up and give you another network park. Now, the last one is called the Tank Factory Code Cylinder, and you need to take this one over by the giant robot. This will just be a little bit of learning the map. You'll find it eventually. It's very, very easy to find once you've played just for about 20 minutes or so. And again, go ahead, call in the Groff module, and you'll see it flying through the sky. You'll see the green light in the guy make your way over there and defend it exactly the same way and then grab the final piece of the network command center so once you have all three pieces just go ahead and make your way down to the operations bunker and insert the final piece or all three pieces into the actual network circuit right there to activate the dragon control network so here comes the exciting part. The next thing you're going to do is make your way to any of the three places where you inserted and called down the Groff modules, and you're going to go ahead and call in a dragon. You're going to have to wait a few seconds for the dragon to arrive and ready up, and as soon as he does, you can go ahead and run up onto the balcony and hold square or hold X to ride the dragon. Go ahead, run up, ride the dragon, and the dragon will actually take you all the way to a new facility, a brand new room you haven't been there before, and you will find the Pack-a-Punch. Now, the next thing you need to do to actually get out of here is a little bit different you actually get something else from this i'm going to make another video kind of explaining the tips and strategy for how to get out of the pack a punch room because it is a little bit difficult and it's something that you definitely need to set up for and it works a lot better if you know how it works before you go in so that will be linked down below in the description as well as the intro cutscene as well as everything else that you would like to see about this map but anyway guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys have enjoyed enjoy your pack a punch guns enjoy the map it is an absolutely stellar map i actually loved it so much while i was playing it early at Treyarch. So go ahead and enjoy yourselves. I will see you guys in the next video and goodbye.